In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate a stopwatch. A stopwatch is a handheld timer used to measure the time interval of an event. Let's start with creating the hand's motion first by keyframing its rotation. We're going to apply the anticipate, overshoot and settle principle to animate the hand. Before we move an object in one direction, it's common to anticipate that action by moving it in the opposite direction, followed by the main action before overshoot and settle at the end. In this example, the hand is going to go upward to press the split button. So we're going to start by making the hand move downward within 4 frames to anticipate it. Anticipation is a small movement in the opposite direction, to tell your audience that the main action is about to happen. After anticipating, the hand is going to move upward within a duration of 6 frames. This will be the main action of pressing the split button. After the main action, the hand will overshoot and settle back into the final resting position. Things in motion usually don't stop instantly, so it's important to add some settle at the end to smooth out the animation. After creating the hands movement, we'll continue with animating the fingers. Let's start with the thumb first. Copy the hands rotation keyframes and paste them onto the thumb layers. Then edit the thumbs keyframes through graph editor to make it press the split button. Let's change the hand's position so that the thumb doesn't go outside of the screen. Once the thumb is animated, we'll continue with other fingers. Again, Copy the hand's keyframes and paste them onto the index, middle, ring, and little fingers. Then offset each finger's keyframes to randomize their motion. As the thumb presses the split button, the split button will move downward, and then back up again to its initial position. It can be easily created by keyframing the split button's Y position, to create an up and down motion. Thank you. 
After pressing the split button, the hand will stay in its resting position for about 4 seconds. Then, it'll press the split button again to stop the stopwatch. We'll create a copy of the hand's rotation keyframes after 4 seconds. Then edit these keyframes to create the pressing action again. We'll do the same to the fingers. The split button will also move downward and upward again, when it's being pressed by the thumb.
Before animating the stopwatch's hand in time, let's open the time layer. Parent stroke width to the ellipse's size. Divide the stroke width's value by 2. Then parent the offset's amount to the stroke width. Divide the offset's amount by minus 2. Now when we increase the trim path's end value, we'll have a swiping filled circle like this. We'll use this filled circle to demonstrate the amount of time being measured. To animate the filled circle, we'll need to keyframe the trim path's end. We'll also keyframe the second hand's rotation to make it move with the filled circle after the split button is pressed. Let's add a little up and down movement to the hand by keyframing its Y position. And we've just finished creating a stopwatch animation. We hope you find this tutorial helpful. The project files of this tutorial are available to download in our After Effects project files library. For more information about access to our library, please check the link in the description section below. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next tutorial.